I'm Dave Dumb. My role currently is sales at Agriteer. I have been working with planters since 1997. My experience with precision planning started with Keaton Seed Farmers, the first year here. Precision planning, I have felt, has always looked at some of the agronomics more than some of the majors. They have some unique product lines. Some of them are standalone and some of them are for monitoring just only. It gave us a depth of product that we couldn't get straight from OEM, adding different closing wheels, adding different things to planters over the years. So this was a natural, another source to be able to customize planters to customers' wants and needs. Agritier is a fairly new entity, has long history in two companies. Bankley and Hurst was where I started. The other company that came in when we merged was M.M. Weaver. So we were two well-established employee-owned companies that merged into Agritier. When we transitioned into Agritier, it was a very smooth transition. As I tell people, I left Binkley's on a Friday and came in on a Monday and nothing really changed in my job. And I think most of us feel that way. For a long time with Binkley and Hearst, we were known as the planner place and that was our specialty. Top year was 62 new planners one year. Agritier is a company that has historically been involved in planners. We became known as the planner experts because we took time to learn the planner, the agronomics behind the planner, spent a lot of time troubleshooting planners in the field, got very good at looking at planners, rebuilding planners. We did planner clinics for their meetings uh, and, and that gave us a rapport. I think what I have seen with Precision is they have spent much more time on agronomic issues. What's an agronomic problem and how do we address it? The majors, I think, spend more time on iron. As long as the iron's doing the job, they are not as concerned about some of the agronomic issues. I think it's very important, either going over a planter, uh, where our techs go out and we do a uptime service, we really like the customers to be along and participate in the uptime so we can teach them what is right, what's worn, how do you, what do you watch. The other thing we do is any new planner that we sell, we do a startup. And we are out the first day with the customer going over operation, helping the set, showing them the various settings, making sure that planner is doing a good job before we leave the first day. Education has been very important to building our, our planner business. We have taken opportunities to educate ourselves at various meetings and also to become a presenter at meetings with the knowledge that we have learned. We have become, I like to think of as a resource for our customer base to improve their planning experience and in turn their bottom line. If we do not educate and just sell them products, we will not advance and be recognized as a trusted advisor and source for product. Precision planning, I feel, has a very unique line. They have their line of monitoring and they build off that with electric drives and all. It is built as a complete system. The nice thing too now, we also have some products that are great standalone products that we can use to complement an OEM without necessarily putting all the monitoring equipment on such as Conceal, Furrow Force Manual, Clean Suite, things that we have used on OEM planners that gives us a way to make those perform higher in the customer's eyes. One of the things with Precision is we custom build it. We can mix and match products to get to what it wants. When you sell a disc or a skid loader or tractor, it's built one way and we are selling off a set price. When we start doing precision, it takes a lot more knowledge base to consult with the customer what he needs, what he wants, and then put the components together to do that. It has been a tremendous addition to our basic planner line. No two planners go out of the shop equipped the same way. So if we did not have the precision product, we cannot customize it to the customer's final needs or wants in what they have for attachments. There is no one size fits all. We never send two planners out of the shop equipped the same. You need to be very open to customizing, listening to what the customer's looking for. What needs does he have? Does he want the technology? Is he technology savvy? Or do we want something fairly plain and simple? That's what he's looking for. 
The next guy comes in and wants all the technology and bells and whistles. Can he handle that? One of the things we have in, in the state of Pennsylvania is we have a government program for no-till planters. So sometimes, you know, guys want to add precision stuff, but when we start looking at adding it to their current planter, we can sell them a new planter, trade the planter in, and they get their tax credits. It's actually a better deal for them than to go and spend money and just add it to the planter. So that's one of the advantages we have in Pennsylvania with one of the programs the State Conservation Commission has in place. So it does take some of the guys going in and doing a lot of rebuild, but we do see a number of, a number of them wanting to add various pieces to their current planner. We're a multi-brand planner place, so it allows us a, a product line that we can open doors. Maybe it's getting in and putting something on a competitor's planner and then being able to take that in and actually selling him a new planner when he needs to fully update his planner. So it does give you opportunities to get into customers that maybe aren't your, your primary base. Also allows you to come in and maybe do something on a trade-in to get it to where a customer wants and get it sellable as a trade-in. The one thing I, I enjoy in the years of working with Precision is their tech support and their willingness to help out in a problem. If we get stumped in the field, they will hang on the line, they will do whatever they can to help you get the customer up and running. And I think there's very few companies that have the resources available that support working with OEMs. I feel like much more responsive report to the dealer and even to the customer. We can set the customer up with resources, the same service resources that we as a dealer have. So some of the customers are very good. Tech gives them troubleshooting tools that they don't always have to call us right away. The other thing that I like is their diagnostics on screen, on their electronic stuff is by far some of the best in the industry. And that makes it easy. A lot of times I can decipher problems with just a phone call or a FaceTime or a Skype watching their screen. I can do a lot of service work and maybe either figure out what part I got to get to them or actually get them going without even going to the location. So those have been the things that I've enjoyed about Precision. One of the other things about Precision is their technical training for their dealers. They are by far one of the best in-depth training. And it's a mix of technical training on their product and they also bring in some of the agronomy. The one year we had a session on troubleshooting post-planting problems in the field. What did it? So we can go back and educate the farmer. It gave us education on how to approach the farmer to solve issues in the field. I enjoy what I do because I have a variation almost every day. It's been a good experience. We have a, a strong supporting staff. We get along well. We support each other and we're educating each other. And that's the important thing.